Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This training video is going to talk about the Wix store pages and how to change the design and the layout and the look and the feel. Okay, so the most common types of changes you want to make on pages and store pages are change the button color, add elements, remove elements, and just change the alignment and the layout in general. And what you've probably found is that Wix store pages, really at just about any e-commerce store page, um, any hosted platform anyway, is going to be limited in what you can change on that page and there are reasons for that but let's dive right in okay so tip let's start with button color changes because that's like the most common thing that anybody wants to change on a on a product page on a cart page on a checkout page all right so if you're in a wix form a regular page you just click there you click the button you click either design and the design options come up or if it's a standalone button do the same thing click the button click design there you are now if you're on a store page let's go to the store product page you find that everything's kind of locked into this product block and without getting too far into the details here th the reason for this is, th is that these store pages are connected right to a lot of other parts of your your website parts that you may not see or care about but they need to function right so this add to cart button does something and all this content in here is connected effectively to a collection a product catalog right so Wix and just about every hosted platform limits the access and the ability for you to modify this block all right uh, the reason is it simple they just don't want something accidentally to be deleted and for the whole store to be broken so in a sense it's kind of protecting you and if, yes on the other side it does benefit Wix it would be significantly more complicated and complex to allow for editing inside this block beyond what they've done already in settings so that's it that's the answer to how you change this button color you're on the product page again I was in menu store pages product page I go in, I click this big product page block, I click settings, and then you're gonna see what you can change on this page. There actually is quite a bit that you can change regarding layout and what, what appears and what doesn't. Uh, if you have an add to cart button, uh, I don't know why you wouldn't, but um, you can change the actual text, you can add a wish list, and then design, and then you see buttons. And this is where you'll change your color. See, so we could go there, change it to orange, Actually, you know what? I like orange. Let's keep it orange. Um, you can change your font color. Let's change that while we're in here too. I like a little bigger color in there. There we go. Uh, you can change all kinds of stuff here. Button style, fill colors, uh, payment methods. This is just a different uh, option that you have here. Okay. Um, let's save and publish this. This is my live site. There we go. Let's go back over to the cart page. Same thing here. There's nothing there because it's just a editor preview. You click settings, you click design, and then it's a little bit more limited here because again, this is uh, farther down the conversion funnel. A few more things connect. You're somewhat limited into, as to what you can do on this page. And it's for your protection and Wix's. All right, so here we go. You can see text font colors. You can see buttons. Let's change that to orange too. And let's change this. Let's make every, everything consistent. I don't remember what size I used. 20, I think. Let's check that. Consistency is important. Okay, everything's good. So that's where you change your button colors. Now, there's a, a little star we need to put next to this, right? We need to note that this isn't the only button that can appear on your on your page, right? You can actually have this out of stock message that appears. And if you are sharp and you're looking there, there's nowhere on here to change that out of stock color. That button color is derived from your theme manager colors. I believe it's color number two. This comes up so infrequently, I'm not 100% on this, but I believe it's color two will change the out of stock button color. Be careful though, that color will change other elements on your website. 
So just be aware of that. All right. And then just to close out the topic here, we can go to our thank you page. You see, we don't even get the, the checkout page in here. That just that is what it is. We have no control of that. Again, that's commonplace in a hosted e-com platform. Go to our thank you page. There's no buttons here, but you can see the same menu, settings, design, text, and you can actually manage your store from here for some reason. So that's it. Any questions, reach out.